Now let's look at what happens if we have multiple current sources in a circuit. So suppose we have um, something like this. Let's say this is a, a 5 amp source and this is a 2 amp source. Um, so we know since this is a series circuit that the current is the same everywhere, right? So how is it that we could have 5 amps of current on this branch but then 2 amps of current on that branch? And the answer is we can't. Actually we can't combine um, current sources in series because it's a violation of um, KCL if we consider this to be a node it's a violation of um, the physics of a circuit but we can however um, combine current sources if they are in parallel so instead suppose we have two current sources there in parallel like this hooked up to some kind of a load here. Um, if this is 5 amps and this is 2 amps, we would have 5 amps of current coming up this branch and meeting this node. So 5 amps comes up here. From this source we have 2 amps that comes up here. Due to KCL they're going to meet at this node here, combine to deliver 7 amps to this load resistor here. Okay, so as long as the current sources are in parallel, current sources in parallel will combine additively. So we can say I source total is just going to be the sum of I source 1 plus I source 2 plus I source 3 dot 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 as long as they are in parallel. We can't combine them in series. Um, so similarly, what if they are pointed in opposite directions? So suppose we have a 4 amp current source coming up this way and then maybe we have um, a 3 amp current source that's going down this way in parallel connected to some load right here. Well, um, if we have, due to KCL, if we have 4 amps coming up this way, we know that 3 amps is taking this branch, so that means this is going to combine to 4 minus 3, which would be 1 amp. So um, in both of these cases, I can replace these two current sources with just one current source. So for um, example 1, this circuit can change to just a single current source in the upwards orientation with a value of 7 amps that's connected directly to our load resistor. Um, for our second example, I can replace this, these two current sources, with a single current source. Um, how do I know if it should be pointed up or down? And the answer is, since this one has more current, I'm going to subtract out the 3 amps, so I'll be left with 1 amp, and that is going in the direction of the larger current source. So I can replace this with one current source of value 1 amp connected to my resistant load. Um, so this is how we would combine uh, current sources in parallel. We just add them up as if they are voltage sources in series, but remember we cannot connect them in, in series like this. So let me know if you have any questions for combining um, sources, and um, we will move on to uh, source transformations.